It has reached the time to get this one started. Japan in the black, Ukraine in the white. Team China still hanging out. Look at Zhang, he's like, look. <laughs> We're on the big screen. Kiss cam. 10 minutes on the game clock. I want to thank our official suppliers, Shelled Sports, Sport Court. No, not Sport, excuse me. Magic Sky, Shelled Sports, Magic Sky. As we get this one underway, the quick trigger, no cash. Kawali couldn't come up with the uh, rebound. My Wooly, excuse me. My Wooly now. She dishes to Kiribayashi. Kiribayashi gets the score. Boyko trying to take two. She can't connect. <clears throat> Kiribayashi dropping uh, down to the block. That pass is just a little bit out of reach. I think you got a couple players here that are unstoppable. I think you look at Kondus and uh, Yamamoto. The two stars could be the difference in this one. Oh, collision between Mawuli and Kondus. They both are shaking up on the play. So Japan with the first bucket. Kondus and Mawuli both are gonna stay out there. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Black ball. Mawuli will take it out, top of the key. And Mawuli. Yamamoto. Mawuli. She dribbles through the defense, splits him, but misses the crib. Yamamoto, though, tracks it down. She tries to feed it to Kiribayashi. Kondus not having it, but Kondus couldn't get the deuce. And Mawuli snags the board. That foul will go against uh, Kondus. Ukraine's first. First minute, scoreless. Yamamoto will start with it up top. She's going to wait for the screen. Mawuli. Mawuli setting up shot, but Kondus, after the steal, she's whistled for the foul. She swung her arm and connected with Yamamoto. So she gets the whistle. Now Yamamoto, she comes free. She tests the waters going left and starts to go right. And Boyko defended her well to the corner. Matina, she's got a clear pathway to shoot the mid-range J, but uh, she sees it rattle off the rim. Boyko, she clears it. Musienko right back down. She gets the bucket. Boyko gets Ukraine on the board. Koyama gives it up. And Yamamoto. Oh, nice D. Musienko wasn't having it. So I, again, oh, Matina. She came through dripping. Drip, drip. Ukraine with a two point advantage. Musienko, oh, where's she going with that? Nowhere. Out of bounds. She says, my bad. Let me check out. Get a breather. Recompose myself. Kondus checks back in. Couple of fouls on Ukraine, but they lead by two points. No fouls on Japan. Mawuli, Kiribayashi. She hands it off to Yamamoto. Yamamoto with a mismatch on the perimeter, but that means there's a mismatch down low. Kiribayashi kicks it out to Mawali, and that was, that, that was not a good possession for Team Japan. As Mawuli will start with it, top of the key. That's not what they had hoped to get. They had an advantage on the possession. They try to get something going this time around. Kiribayashi, and she utilizes that size. Kondus trying to set up the two-woman game. And that one snuffed out. Mawuli gets the steal. Oh, look at the effort here. Musienko gets down on the ground. And that's, a, that's a, a player that wants it. 
every possession. She ties it up, and as you know, jump ball always awarded to the defense per 3x3 rules, Musienko. Now she's going to get a chance to give a little offense, and she's defending, but a little bit too aggressively. And she's fouled in the process, and she'll step up to the free throw stripe. Musienko, your 21-year-old, number one ranked U23 women's player in Ukraine, 17 in the world, keeping score. Musienko also finished fifth in the FISU 3x3 World University League Finals last year. She'll play in the event this year. She uh, gives Ukraine a 4-2 lead. And again, Ukraine, your world number two. We've already got a world number one versus world number two in the men's ranks. And we also know that Russia is awaiting the winner in the gold medal game. Boyko couldn't find a stroke from distance. Yamamoto, she's fouled, and she gets to the rebound. Mawuli taking her time. She's going to let Kiribayashi set up shot, but Matina, bye girl. She wasn't having it. She must, she might be outsized, but she uh, shows the effort defensively just to try to irritate Kiribayashi, and it, it does enough to throw the shot off. Boyko, no such worries down low with uh, Yamamoto Gardner. That's Mouse in the house, and that's two-piece in the mouth from deep. Matina, and you can see the passion, Musienko, who made that Tough play getting on the ground to win the loose, win the, uh, the tie ball. <laughs> 4 2 game, but four fouls on Ukraine. That's something to keep an eye on. <laughs> Kiribayashi, the hook, no go. Kandus. Kandus going for the deuce. She misses it, but she gets her own rebound. Now she does a drive left, and she pulls up and puts in another jumper for Ukraine to make it a three-point game. Kiribayashi, she's continuing to do her thing as well. Look at the box out. That's, that's a foul whistled on Boyko. That's number five on Ukraine. So they got one more foul to give with six minutes to play. And they'll be in the penalty, but they do have a, a two-point edge. Koyama starts to possess it. She swings over to the wing. They get it to Yamamoto. She swings it. Catch, shoot. Missed to the left. Mawuli couldn't get the rebound. That's going to be out of bounds. Rule to uh, Team Ukraine. Who will, who will have to smarten up a little bit defensively here. Facing a little bit of foul trouble as we uh, approach the six-minute mark. Matina. Uh, uh, uh. What's happening? Kyle Montgomery in your ear. Have no fear. What a tournament. First ever 3x3 U23 World Cup from Xi'an. Again, handing out our first set of gold medals ever. U23, new addition to the event field for 3x3. Just introduced the U23 Nations League last year. Had the second edition this year. France swept that, but they've been swept out of the competition. It's coming down to Ukraine and Japan, who will meet Russia in the final. So Yamamoto will have it top of the key. This has not been a score fest. Kiribayashi, that's one you got to have. She misses it. Matina to Musienko. Sharon is Karen. And teamwork makes the dream work. 
Ukraine up six to three. Oh, Yamamoto, she spit Musienko in a circle, but she couldn't uh, connect on the two ball. Now Yamamoto, Musienko, cured by Yashi. She couldn't finish the layup. Now she's got to defend Matina, or maybe not, because Matina just gives it right back up to Japan. Yamamoto, she, she was thinking about passing it down low. She said, I'm gonna take it myself. And that is a good decision. As it's now five to six, Musienko trying to take two back. Boyko, good rebound, good score. Makes it seven five, a two point game. Ukraine in front, it's only a possession. You can't leave her all by her lonesome. She gets some Yuan here in China. That's money in case you didn't know. And it's all even at seven apiece until the response from Boyko. And a foul called on Ukraine. No. Final saw a foul call, it is not. But uh, possession is uh, to Japan. Look at the pesky D, doesn't pay off that time. Kandus is scored on by Kiribayashi. She fires the two and misses. That one out of bounds, this is eight apiece. The Japanese, the undefeated team of the two on the court. Mawuli, nice dish. The Boyko called for the foul. That's a shooting foul. Also the sixth foul on Ukraine, so no more to give. Here to give Kiribayashi an opportunity to step up. Are you riding? Kiribayashi. She's up. She's going to shoot. Shoot one here. And she misses, but the uh, right time, right spot, comes right back to her, and she capitalizes to give Japan a one-point lead. Russia waiting in the final. Japan, they take a two-point advantage for the time being as Kandus looks to even it up. She hoists up the two-piece, but she's too much. Now she turns left. Working on Muwali. Comes up empty again. Now it's uh, Muwali's, Muwali's turn. Oh, they caught some Z's on them. And all of a sudden, Japan is out by three. Make that two. Matina, Ukraine needed that. One possession game. This could be a big two hit. Koyama couldn't hit it though, but Kiribayashi down low. That was good D from Kandus. And it goes right back to Koyama, who puts Japan's lead at 12 to 9. Kandus chunks the deuces like the peace sign. And it's 12 11. So another look at the as the as the action is starting to heat up. This is the type of intensity you would anticipate in a semifinal game. As both teams would love nothing better than to etch their name into the history books, as this is the first ever, again, 3x3 U23 World Cup. We will name our our first two gold medal winners. That's a feather in the cap. So yeah, yeah, we won the, the first ever edition of that. So a technical is uh, called on Ukraine. Yamamoto misses the free throw, but she's still all smiles. It's serious business though, as it's 12-11, with another three to go, Yamamoto. Trying to seize the moment. Kiribayashi. 
shit. She's really been doing the damage for Japan in this game. They made it a concerted effort to get her the ball almost exclusively down low. Each possession, she's she's getting a touch. If she's not getting a touch, she's getting a look. And there she posts up. This time the pass is fake, but a little too much sauce on it. As Yamamoto couldn't hit it, and neither can Conduce. So the, the game stays where it's at, 12-11, two and a half to play. Yamamoto waiting for the screen. You know where she's going. She lets that one go. And the rainbow puts Japan up 14 to 11. Nice pass, Boyko. She got to finish that. She doesn't. And it's a three-point game. This time, Koyama. And she, what, what a rebound. Yamamoto, cured by Yashi, shoulder fake, faker, and she takes a four-point advantage for Team Japan. Kondus, Boyko, good move, pass cured by Yashi. But we're approaching a minute, 40 seconds left. It's a three-point game. Yamamoto, she's revving up the engine. She gets it down to cured by Yashi, and it just rolls off the rim. Good D on the perimeter from Koyama and no score on the inside, so a minute 25 left. There's Yamamoto in and out, trying to create some space. She lets another one go. She's fouled behind the two-point arc. That is foul number eight on Ukraine, so two free throws were gonna, gonna happen regardless. But they put their most dominant player, who happens to be the pint-sized Yamamoto. She's the smallest player on the court. And is you could argue has had the biggest impact. That's a big free throw miss. And Yamamoto misses two free throws with a minute to go. Matina, oh, misses a crib with the left. That would have made it a one possession game. Now they gotta try to slow down Yamamoto. Good luck with that. Ma Mawuli, who's been quiet offensively in this one, she gets a big bucket to make it a two possession game. And Kondus puts the pressure on the Japanese interior defense. Forces a foul on the shot, only the fourth foul on Japan, so no worries for them in terms of being in the penalty. So now it's Kondu shooting just one. Looking to make this a three-point game with 49 seconds left. The top scorer of the tournament is going to need to get some key buckets if she hopes to help uh, her team erase a three-point deficit. Yamamoto. Oh, that's a big foul call. That one called on Kondu. She knew it. She knew it immediately. That's why you see no argument from her. And a familiar face at the free throw strike. This time, Yamamoto good on the first. Japan's lead up to four now. And Yamamoto hits them both. So does Boyko in a big two make that makes it a three-point game. Mawuli on the move. Boyko defending. Oh, Mawuli breaks her off underneath. Kandus! Cash is in from the corner. Cash me outside. 19-17. Yamamoto changing direction past Mushienko. She misses. So under 10 seconds to go. It's in Kondus' hands. And she, she dribbles it out of bounds. Five seconds left in the game. And Ukraine had a chance. Kondus touched the baseline. And she's going to put Yamamoto on the stripe. Wow. So right when Ukraine had a glimmer of hope, 
It's not over yet. We got to see what Yamamoto does at the stripe. Oh, ice water running through her veins. She makes it a three-point game, and she can put the nail in the coffin with uh, another couple free throw attempts as that was uh, Ukraine's 10th foul. Well, she'll shoot one, one more, and ooh, that would have been all it took. But uh, possession will also go to Japan because of the double bonus. So Ukraine will have to foul once again or just let the time tick out. They understand that this one is over with. They'll have to uh, settle for a third place game. And it's Japan celebrating in the stands as they are unbeaten still here in Xi'an.